Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick story on Nipsey Hussle. You know, Nipsey died, I want to say, what was it, March 31st, 2019. And here it is almost five years later. And they still have not finalized. Well, actually, I back it up. They finalized his estate. And the kids, he only had two children. He had a daughter with his first relationship. And then he had a son with a second relationship with Lauren London. And those two children were set to receive the bulk of his $11 million estate. Um, both of the children are scheduled to get $5 million. But however, as soon as they was about to get it, the judge was signing off on it. A songwriter came and said, listen, I worked on a song with Nipsey and I was supposed to get paid. Now the brother, Nitsi Hustle's brother, who is overseeing this state, he made an agreement with this songwriter. But unfortunately, he did not pay out all the money he agreed to pay her. So now she is holding up the state. She is holding up the payment from getting to these two children. So we're gonna go ahead and get right into this story. Let me share a screen with y'all. And listen, I mean, at the end of the day, if she's old money, she should get her money, right? It's sad that they uh, the thing has been taking this long, but I mean, what's a couple more months if it, it already, you know, been held up for almost five years? So Nipsey Hussle's children inheritance payments delayed at the songwriter accuses late rapper's estate of owing her money. Now, like I said, his brother is the one that is overseeing his estate. Nitsi Hustle's family suffered a small setback in court at the judge delay approving a final report submitted by the state at the songwriter rushed to the court over alleged money owed. According to court documents obtained by RadioOnline.com, a Los Angeles Superior Court judge said that the additional evidence or additional documentation is required to grant Nitsi's brother Black Sands' request to close the probate case. The court set a hearing for March where Sam can pre present further documents to the judge. The only document that he could present is that he paid this girl. Sam was appointed administrator of Nitsi's estate following his 2019 death. The rapper left behind two children, a daughter with Imani, who a daughter named Imani, who he had with his ex-girlfriend Tanisha Foster, and a son named Cross, who he had with his girlfriend Lauren London. And you know what? I love her name. I just think it's such a stage name and an uh, entertainment name. But anyway, as we first reported in October 2023, Sam um, Sam submitted a final report that explained he handled all outstanding debts and creditors claims. He said he had reviewed all of Nipsey's property and assets, which were worth around $11 million. Imani and Cross are expected to be paid around $5 million each and will continue to receive payments for the remainder of their life. Well, that's nice. Okay. A couple weeks later, a songwriter named um, Taslima um, filed an objection to the final report being approved and the um, payouts being made. She originally filed a creditor's claim against the state in 2019. So this is not new. She came originally, right? The songwriter claims she worked on a song called Hustle and Motivation with Nipsey in 2016. The track was released months before the rapper's death. In 2022, she and Sam reached a deal in the dispute. She claimed Sam agreed to award her 10% share of the master sound recording in addition, she said she was to be paid 35 k In January, she filed her objection to the final report. She claimed that Sam had breached the deal they reached by failing to pay the full amount. She said she only received 16 k Now, if he gave a darn near half, just give her the rest of the money. Why? What are you doing, Sam? Regrettably, the opposing party has thus far... Um, further delay the fulfillment of their obligations under the contract. And consequently, they are in breach of its terms, she claimed. The original agreement with this state is deemed void due to multiple breaches. Oh, uh, Ms. Jasmine no longer seeks enforcement of this breached agreement. Instead, she is seeking damages. Oh my goodness. As a result of these breaches and wishes to negotiate a new agreement that will protect her interests moving forward. So now she want more money. So if Sam would have just paid the 35K, he would have been done with her. 
Now she wants additional funds. In court documents, she claims she didn't mean to cause the family any trouble. She said, my intention is not to burn in the court or cause any distress to the involved family. My sole aim is to pursue a fair and just resolution. I am wholeheartedly committed to fully engaging with the court's um, procedures, attending all hearings, and providing any additional necessary information. Considering these facts, I earnestly request the court to consider my objection and expedite the procedures for swift resolution. She, Sam asked that Yasmin's motion be denied. He claimed the settlement um, she signed was with a company, All Money and LLC. He argued that when she signed that deal, she agreed to forever dismiss claims against Nipsey's estate. Oh, oh, he says she needed to take action against all money in LLC if she believed money was owed. He pleaded with the court to deny her request and approve his final report, which will allow Nipsey's children to receive their full inheritance. Oh, this is messy. You know what? I do believe that this chick probably didn't even realize what she signed and who she was signing it with. So on that note, um, this may happen quickly and swiftly, and then Nipsey can truly rest in peace, knowing that the children, that in his legacy that he left behind, will benefit from his estate. Um, you know, it's just always sad when we have these um, entertainment, whether it's rappers, actors, or whomever, who are going too soon, so to speak, because someone else took their life. You know, may Nitsi rest in peace. And hopefully this young lady can figure out who really made this deal with her and get what is owed to her, if anything is owed to her, so that Nitsi Hussle's children can finally get their payments started, um, you know, from their father. Anyway, guys, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, hit the like button, people, and listen, I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm trying to do that so y'all can actually see me and not just part of my head. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.